What is up YouTube, Dave Dries here. We have an absolute beginner's ab program here. Hear me out, this program is created for you to get you the jumpstart needed to bring fitness back into your life. When I say an absolute beginner workout, this is something that you can do in your living room, no equipment, you're gonna do it here with me and we're gonna crush this out and you're gonna go on with your day feeling accomplished because you just completed this. You believe in yourself, I'll believe in you, let's get this done. So we're gonna go for 15 seconds of work. We're gonna have a 20 second break in between five movements. Now I'm gonna explain all five movements before we even jump into it. We're gonna start out with a plank hold first and then we're gonna have that 20 second break into the next one. During that 20 seconds, I will explain it all. So let's get started. 15 seconds of work, we're gonna go through it three times and let's go. So we're gonna start out in a forearm plank position. So squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt, eyes are directly above your hands. We're hanging out here, it's gonna go quick. So just keep holding, squeeze everything. As soon as you're done, you're just gonna drop to your knees and you're gonna catch your breath, boom. So now we have 20 seconds. We're gonna do a crunch and we're gonna go from an elevated crunch position. So we're gonna be on our back. We're gonna have our feet elevated, just like this. And we're gonna go reaching to the ceiling, pressing that belly button to the ground. So the goal is to really engage that midsection. Ready and go. And we're gonna do this for 15 seconds. Now if you want, you can always have your feet elevated on a chair or a couch or something in your living room or at the gym, wherever you're at. And just go nice and controlled. Think about pushing that belly button into the ground. And stop, good, okay? Another 20 second break. We're gonna do a leg raise hold. So hands are gonna be underneath our butt. And all we're gonna do is lift our legs Ideally about six to 12 inches above the ground. The higher you go, the easier it's gonna be. Make sure your hands underneath your butt. It's gonna help prevent any lower back arching or issues. So we're holding just like this. And if you want to kick it up a notch, you can always look at your belly button. And you're gonna do the same thing as the crunch is you're gonna press down with that belly button into that spine and into the ground. Hold it all the way to the end. Good, well done. You're gonna stay where you're at. Breathe and relax. We're gonna do ankle wiggles. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna bring your heels a little bit closer to your butt. And we're gonna tap basically our ankles or our heels when we do this. Now just relax. Lift up, belly button to the ground. We're gonna go side to side. I really like this movement. If you've seen some of the other videos that I've filmed, it's great because it really activates um, your obliques when done properly. Just nice and controlled. Keep that belly button pushed down, finish it. Good, well done. Catch your breath again. We got one more movement. We're gonna go a knee touch. So I'll show you that. It's just like a knee march, I should say. So we're here, you're just gonna go down and we're gonna go one at a time, nice and controlled. You're gonna feel a little bit more of the lower abs engaged on this. We got five seconds before we go. So you're gonna lay down, feet up. And we're gonna tap down, nice and controlled. I want that heel to tap. Call it a heel march, good. And it's gonna stay elevated. You can relax your head if you need to. When I want those, make sure both knees are up at the starting position and back down, good. So that was one cycle. We're gonna do it two more times. So you got this. If you need to grab a drink, quick grab a drink. Can't even talk, quick grab a drink. You got 10 seconds. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're gonna go back into that plank position and we're gonna do all five movements again. So you're gonna hang with me, let's do it. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the butt. And you wanna make sure that your head's kind of in line with the, the butt and all the way to your heels. And you're just gonna hang out, eyes above your hands. Good, keep holding, great, and go to the ground. Good job. And then we're gonna go back to that elevated crunch. And feel free, anytime you need water, grab a drink. And if you need a towel as well, or a mat, that'd be advantageous. If you're doing this on the ground, I salute you. It's kind of badass might hurt though. And we're gonna elevate a crunch, feet up, let's go. Belly button to the ground. And if you do have any uh, neck issues, you can always place your hands to support. Just make sure you don't pull. You just wanna lift up. It's almost like someone's trying to lift, go down the ground. It's almost like someone's trying to lift your heart to the ceiling, they're pulling it up to the ceiling. So you can always protect your neck as well. Okay, moving on to that leg raise hold. Same thing, hands will go underneath your butt. You can lay your head flat. We're gonna go straight out. We got about three seconds to go. And I'm gonna have you raise up and I want you to look 
at your belly button. Now, if you want to go a little bit higher, it's going to kind of push that lower back into the ground. That might make it a little bit easier. That's fine. But do the best you can to slowly start to get as low as you can. Keep pulling all the way to the end. Good job. And then we're going to do ankle wiggles, but relax your neck right now. Keep breathing. If you need to take a break, feel free. Totally cool. Lay down. We're going to do this. You got 10 seconds. The closer you bring your heels, the easier it's going to be. The farther out you go, the harder it's going to be because you're going to have to add a little bit more of a reach. It all is going to depend on how long of uh, arms you got. I feel like I have a little bit longer arms. Good. Keep it going. Belly button to the ground. Tap and go. Well done. Good. And we're going to catch our breath. We're going to do that heel march again. And right before the last one cut off, I kind of wanted to explain you're always going to have both legs up. So one goes down, both legs up. The other one goes down, both legs up. So we're not doing two simultaneously. You're going to start always at that top position. And go. One, back down. If you need to hold your neck, that's fine. Just tap. Nice and controlled. You're going to feel kind of the hips and a little bit of that lower region of the six pack. Nice and controlled. Hold that neck if necessary. Good. Well done. Grab a drink. You got 20 seconds. We're going to go right back into that plank position. We're going to do a plank hold. Now, check out some of the other videos. I explained the difference between a forearm plank hold, which is what we're doing here, versus that push up hold plank hold. Um, I explained kind of the differences of those two. Um, it's somewhat informative if you're new to working out. So here we go. And holding. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the abs. All the way to the end, you got five seconds. Hold it, hold it. Great, we're done with that one. So we only got four more to go. Good job so far. And we're gonna jump into now that elevated crunch. And remember, you can hold that neck behind if you need to. We're just gonna raise the feet up. If you can place it on a bench or a couch or anything, that's totally cool with me. Uh, just make sure that we're engaging that midsection. So up, good. If you want to reach the ceiling, your heart is getting pulled up while your belly button is getting pushed down. Good. Now you can go at your own pace. You don't have to go at the pace that I'm going, but just nice and easy. Good. All the way to the ground. Catch your breath. Breathe. We got the leg raise hold. And I always try to tell people, you know, I really do think it's more advantageous to have your hands underneath your butt. Um, it just makes it easier on your lower back. Uh, versus having it straight out like this. It's going to be a little bit harder. So it's just an, uh, another level up. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to try to go with the, this the whole time. But I'm already feeling it. Pushing that belly button into the ground. Keeping it nice and flat here. But keep holding. Good. Well done. we got two more to go. you got 30 seconds left of work. Finish this with me before we stop, okay? You're not cutting this short. we got ankle wiggles in 10 seconds. We're finished with the ankle wiggles and the heel march. We're going to go about the rest of our day. Here we go. Let's do it. Side to side. Good work. Keep it going. If you need to double tuck that chin, that's fine as well. All the way to the end. Great. Lay down and catch your breath. Now, before I close this, I want you to understand this. You can do this a few times a week. So if you complete it today, don't hesitate to turn this bad boy back on in the next couple days. Do it until you get comfortable to advance to the next level of uh, ab workouts that we have here, okay? Here we go. Don't ever hesitate to do it multiple times. That's how you're gonna get better. I'm gonna tell you this real quick. Fitness is just like any other thing that you need to develop a skill. The more that you do it, the easier that it gets. Good job. So that was the absolute beginner's ab workout. You have to believe that you can achieve this and do this because trust me, I've seen thousands of people come through this gym. I know for a fact that you can get it done if you just put in the effort and believe in yourself. Feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments or would like more of these, let me know because I can make a ton of them. Uh, all different movements, different time formats, and anything like that. So leave your comments below. Look forward to hearing from you.